I had given up on the voice and having done it, having sung or been in music for 50 years, that's a big thing to not do again. So Richard was referred to us uh, by a practitioner in the community because we really specialize in dedicated care of the larynx. We treat people with voice disorders, swallowing disorders, and uh, airway disorders at a very high level and a multi-specialty uh, capacity. So essentially, when they come here, they meet with a physician, and they'll also meet with a speech pathologist. So you get both the, the medical side and the rehabilitative side all in one visit, which is sort of unique to the community here in San Diego. Well, you know, as a singer, you're working with all of this apparatus. You're working with your face and everything, and you're working with your chords. You're doing all of that at a very high level of, of technique. And most medical professionals don't really understand that. Whereas with Erin, she's been through that. She's studied it just like I'm studying it. She understands from a vocalist point of view what I'm talking about when I'm saying this difficulty is what I'm facing. There's so much depth in that knowledge that she has that shared with what I'm doing with as a professional that you just don't get that. And so every week when he would come in, I would warm him up and find, okay, well, there's this pocket where it sounds really good. And so I'd give him humming, I'd give him buzzing exercises. We'd try to glide from that area of his voice where it's very comfortable, and we'd try to glide up where it's a bit higher. I can go in my studio and I can open up the hardest things that I ever performed in my career. Because they're looking at all the possible options that they can do and they're thinking about you and they're thinking about saving your career and saving this thing that you love to do. We see every possible level of singer, shower singers, car singers, church singers, elite professional singers, every level. And, uh, and our, my role is to find out how did you function before and I, I want to get you back to that status. And so if it was, I could sing alto in my church choir without my voice getting hoarse, without coughing, then that's where we get them back. I could sing in choirs, I can sing at events, I could, could decide to go back and join the opera chorus again if I wanted to. I think I could do that. I don't think I could have had a better result. And the fact that there's a group that like this that understands from a performer's point of view, what you can do is kind of astonishing.